sorrow. The Bible said, had the four time bewitched the people with sorceries. And can I say this to you? We are living in an age of spirits. You either have the spirit of God or the spirit of the devil. Mm. You either have the spirit of God in you or the spirit of a devil. There's no zone for feeling okay and feeling nice. Or just on the border or just on the wind. No upon the river, no upon the bank. You are either on God's side or you're on the devil's side. You are either a servant of God or an agent of the devil. You either are saying Jesus or you're saying Satan. But you make a couple say to you, whatever you are saying, I'm come to death punish. Don't hear me. The spell is broken tonight. So Philip came down to Samir. I understand this. Do not mix up with the Philip who was a disciple of Christ. This is a Philip you will see over in, 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 in Acts 7, who was no Acts 6, sorry, who was numbered among the seven deacons that the apostles selected. The Bible said the church was growing, and so people were making a lot of noise about welfare and all that stuff. And, and the apostles got together. The Bible says, and the twelve got together. And said to the multitude of disciples, Look among yourselves and choose seven men. Everybody says, Seven men. Seven. Come on, say, Seven men. Seven. Yeah, seven simple means is God's perfect number. They chose seven men, not women. Men, everybody say, Men. men. Come on, say, God looking for men. God looking for men. 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 Come on. And why seven? Because seven is the number of completion. It's God's perfect number. Six is the number of man. Man has to resign himself so that God can begin to lead him. So Philip was numbered among the seven. Understand this. That I, I, I did some exegesis tonight. That this is just how, how, I, how I do scripture. And I found out that even when, even when, Philip was numbered among the disciples. You will see in several scriptures. Every time you see the disciples' name mentioned to include the seven deacons, his name always appeared at number five. Yeah. Come on. You take it off. Do you wear your do your homework and thing? Every time you see them, the name of Jesus' disciples, Philip was number seven. And even in the seven deacons, he was number seven. I'm sorry, he, he, he was number five. But simply saying that there's something about the name Philip. When I looked up the name Philip, it meant it meant a man who was fond of horses. Come on. And I began to do a little eyes of Jesus than that. And found out that Philip was a man who could assume a position in no way in any quick time. Because you see, this same Philip, when he left Samuel, he was taken by the Spirit and he found himself in Damascus, talking to the Ethiopian eunuch. Hallelujah. What we're saying here is that if a man has feel himself, then God can use him anyhow, anytime, anywhere. Yes, it's that portion now. Now, he went down to Samaria and found that the place had been turned upside down as well. Isn't it funny that you are leaving where Christians have been persecuted? And then you run into another scenario where it is as worse as where you're coming from. Yeah. Or oh, talk to me, somebody. Yeah. Come and say, neighbor, yeah. you what you have, you what you have, you what you have. Yeah. Because sometimes there are people who leave from one church to the next, think they'll find something different, and they realize and they find even a worse scenario somewhere else. But I'm going to let somebody know that whatever you are running from, and it's a standard of even a clear, Jesus Christ and Him crucified, it will still haunt you. He's running away from the persecution that went on in Jerusalem. And he went down this street from area and found that the place had been bewitched by a sorcery and witchcraft. Watch this, watch this, watch this. 
The church went through great, great, great persecution. And as I said earlier, it is when the church is persecuted that she begins to move and rely on God even more. Some of us understand this. Now I'm going to bring this up before I begin to move on Hannah here tonight. Some of us have to come to a place where we are ruffled in our nest before we begin to turn and acknowledge that Jesus Christ is still at work in our life and has given us power and authority over our devils and demons. Yes, he went on to Samaria. Now understand this, that Samaria had been already primed by Christ himself because he said, I must need to go through Samaria. He made a woman the well, and, and you, you know the story of that when he went, when he went back in the city and brought all the men who she ever did marry and everybody else said, Come see a Christ, because he told me everything I ever did. So Christ had gone through it and planned here. Now when Christ was leaving the earth, he gave specific commandments. He says, Go into all the world and preach the gospel. And then he said to them, Be witness unto me first where? In Jerusalem and Judea in Samaria and elsewhere. Now Samaria was pivotal on crisis list. Why? They also were Jews. They were just extreme Jews, but they were Jews as well. Now understand this, that Jesus Christ wants to break everything that's wrong about you. Talk to me somebody. Christ don't want to half and half. Half spirit and half devil. No. He wants you to become being delivered tonight. And we have come tonight, not necessarily you, but just let Palestine hear us, I hear the echo of the church. That we are saying the reason the church, I'm sorry, no, that the, the town is the way it is, is because it seems there is a warrior over the area. Yes. And over Jamaica as well. Not just Palestine, Jamaica as well. Yes. Keep his body even worse. I'm really there. But the deal is, the church has the authority. But watch here. I've come now to suggest to you that we as we have sat dormant and hoping that manna fall from sky, somebody has to be proactive and begin to understand that what's going on is not just the normal flow of life. It's a devil. It's a demon. It's witchcraft. It's principles and powers. And the church has the authority. Pretty much like Philip. To turn things right side up. One man. One man walked into an area. The Bible says when he came preaching. He came preaching. One simple doctrine. The doctrine of Jesus Christ. We don't know much about this spirit. Except that we see him preaching in Samaria here and then going down to stop the people eat up and the shop the actor. What we do know is that by the way to him as one of the deacons, certainly, we know that he had a charge or a turn Samaria right side up. His specific work we see here was preaching. And his theme was not anything flamboyant or dynamic. His theme was Jesus Christ. The Bible says he preached who? He preached Christ unto the first five. The Bible says, and he preached Christ unto them. I come to announce you that the answer for our nation is still Jesus Christ. Amen. The answer to contaminate our world is still Jesus Christ. Amen. We can we can sit in Parliament all we want. We can go run to the talks all we want. I said somebody recently, you can't organize church. You must organize church. You can't sit on the and organize God's business. You need to get on your knees. You need to pray and say, God, help me speak. God, and not just talk about every head. But you will be willing as well to step up and do something about what's going on. God, you 